have this, this force, we're going to get these two forces. We learned in a previous mod that this is associated with sine or cosine. Which is it for the vertical? Class? Which one? Sine or cosine? Is it cosine? No, that's the uh, horizontal. All right, so, so vertical is sine. So remember we learned previously to get this x, this x component, I mean, sorry, this y blue guy component, you can look back to your old mods. This is always going to be hypotenuse, which is T1 times the sine of 30. And trig, got, got, trig gets us there, and we saw how, why that was earlier in the year. All right, what about the red one then on this, um, on this T1? T1 cosine 30. So that's the value of the red one for T1 and the blue one for T1. Horizontal and vertical. Now we're going to do the same thing for T2, the tension T2. So over here, however, we do not use the, the letter, uh, the number 40. Do you recall what it is from your reading? T2, not cosine, I'm sorry, not sine of 40, but sine of what? Do you remember that little, you took notes on an example? Remember, was your both 45 last night? Oh, yeah. yeah. So you used 45 for the one, but you did not use 45 for the other. Because really, this is on a coordinate plane, like this. If I can add another line to this picture. So this is truly at 30, but what is this angle? It's not 40. 40 is measured from here to here. And I want the value from here to here. So what would that be? Oh, geometricians? 140. 140. Where'd you get that, Brendan? Um, 180, Bernie. Right. If we go from here to here, it's 180, but I stopped, I stopped 40 degrees short of that. So therefore, it's 180 minus 40, which is 140. So that is the angle. Uh, if, you, if you skip that point part and you use the uh, angle given here, your signs, your SIGNs, your plus and minuses will work right. All right, so now all we have left to name is the red force that went to the left here uh, under T2, and it's T2 cosine 140. Probably that's the most um, popular, if you want to call it, spot where students mess up on these, is forgetting to change that angle. All right, do I need to wait while you're writing that down? Or are you up to speed there? Are you, t are you timing another 10 minutes, Hannah? Yeah. Okay, thank you. All right, we're ready to start this problem. This is just sort of getting it set up. And we're looking for the tension in the first wire and in the second wire. Any questions so far? Is there a memory aid we can think of? Why horizontal goes with cosine and vertical goes with sine? We got to think of a little jingle or something. Wait, what? You know how all the horizontals have a cosine in them and all the verticals have a sine? I'm trying to think of some little no. memory aid to help us. I know it's really stupid, but X comes before Y, and usually when you're saying sine and cosine, you say sine and cosine, not cosine and sine, so you just switch cosine and sine. Say that again. <laughs> X comes before Y, I got that. X comes before Y. But cosine in the alphabet comes but before not, sine. Not with the letters, but when you say, you don't say cosine and sine when you're referring to them, right. you say sine and cosine. But X and Y, that switches. I know. Oh, okay. Just switch it, and it's right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Whatever works. <laughs> All right. We're ready to do the problem. You've got all the information down? All right. Yeah. Looks like you have it. All right. I, the, the formula that dominates this um, mod is sum of the forces equals MA, Newton's second law. So it's going to work for the horizontal side, and it's going to work for the vertical side. So we're going to start on the horizontal side. First, it does not matter where you start. 
So I want you to gather all the forces and add them because this says the sum of the forces is MA. So how many do you see that are horizontal? This is the only reason we colored them so we can see them. Alex, how many forces are red? Two. Very good. So the first one is, uh, Alex, is this one a positive force or a negative one? And looking at the direction of the arrowheads, it is, I don't know if that, an arrowhead shows up, but it is negative. So I'm going to write negative T2 cosine 140. Where did I get that? I'm adding the horizontals, and that is one of them. And the other one, Alex, what direction is this one? Positive. P1 cosine 30 is positive. I have to move my line. Didn't give myself enough room. So when I add those, are there any others, Alex, in that direction? No. Okay. On these hanging pictures, you'll notice are hanging objects. There are two horizontals almost every time. So now it's that we're up to here in the formula. So we hit equals. <coughs> the mass is five, but what is, what is the acceleration? Um, on this. You alright, Mom? Yeah. All right. Okay. Um, Aaron, what is the acceleration of this picture? Um, would it be zero? It is. And that's very helpful. I've noticed when I said the mass was five, I didn't write it down because it's going to zero out anyway. So mass times acceleration for any object that is still is zero. So. All right, let's improve on that. I need some tippy tappers. Can you do that? Morgan, what's the cosine of 140? Give me two sig figs. Um, negative 0.77. Negative 0.77, and it was already a negative. Oh, you know what? I think I did that wrong, guys. This, I was supposed to just do this. Remember, I was, I was asking Alex which direction it was in. The cosine will take care of that direction for me. So I should not have written that negative sign in. I should expect it to be negative, but the cosine tells me that. So when I do the sum of the forces, I just write them out without a positive and negative sign. Sorry about that. So we have cosine of 140 is negative 0.77. T2. All right, and Morgan, cosine of 30. 0.87. All right. We have one equation with two unknowns, so we're not going to get very much further with this, but we can solve for one or the other. So let's move the negative one over. So they get 0.87 T1 equals 0.77 T2. And I was going to solve for T2. It doesn't matter which one. And I do that by multiplying by the coefficient in front of it. And Morgan, what is 0.87 divided by 0.77? 1.1. Yeah. All right. So I switched it on down here, but I got T2 equals 1.1 T1, which gives me nothing so far. That doesn't tell me either tension but it gives me a place that I, I can um, come to in a minute and finish it. When we switch to the vertical side, let me move this up a little. When we switch to the vertical side, we will come to a real answer. So vertical, sum of the forces again is MA. All right, how many forces this time? Jonathan, look again at that picture. How many blue forces are there? They're the vertical guys. Two. Here's one. Here's one. And is there another? In the up-down direction? Four. Wait. Oh, that one. So how many? Three. Right. You'll notice in these problems, there are often three verticals and two horizontals. So expect that. Yeah. Oh, gosh. 